Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Dear grade 5 students, hello again I am Ahmed Al Farahati and I wish you all the best of everything Today inshallah we will study unit 5 technology Lesson 1 Please open your skills book to page 50 This page what are the aims of this lesson? Let's check. Unit 5 Technology Lesson 1 Class book pages 50 and 51 Activities 1, 2, 3 and 4 The aims In this lesson students will Learn about different types of computers Learn vocabulary associated with a desktop computer. Do a short quiz. Ask and answer questions about computer games. Let's go to page 50 of your class book. Unit 5 Technology Reading and Understanding section. Dear students, this unit covers the different kinds of technology including computer technology space technology mobile phones and smartphones technology related to houses of the future and other aspects of the future such as flying cars robots and food printers before we start the unit do you know the different types of computers Yes, excellent. We have desktop computer, laptop computer, and tablet computer. Do you know these types? Yes. A desktop computer is a computer for use on a desk, usually in an office or at home. You cannot carry it around. It consists of a CPU tower, monitor, keyboard and the mouse what about laptop computers a laptop computer is a small computer that you can carry around it is battery powered and small enough to rest on your lap it has a screen that closes over the keyboard like a lid usually called a laptop for short what about tablet computers Yes, a tablet computer is a small thin portable computer which is battery powered. It has a touch screen but no physical keyboard or LED. Usually called a tablet for short. You understand that? Let's look at activity one. Read and think. Look at the picture, discuss the different parts of the computer. You have here a desktop computer and these are the different parts of the computer. We will study these parts and we will know the use of each part. 1. Printer A printer transfers text and images from the computer onto paper. Yes, this is the printer. 2. Monitor The monitor shows information on a screen. This is the monitor, and this part is the screen. 3. CPU Central Processing Unit The CPU contains the brains of the computer, processes information in the CPU. Yes, Central Processing Unit. This is the CPU. 4. Keyboard you use this to type letters and the numbers into the computer. Yes, this is the keyboard. 5. Mouse When you move this around on your desk, it moves a pointer around the screen. This is the mouse. Number 6. Modem Router The router or the modem connects the computer to a network or the internet by means of a network signal 
I think you know all these parts. Let's go to activity two. Read and find. Read the questions below. Find the answer to each one in the picture in activity one. Which part of a computer is large and flat? Has letters and numbers? Is small and moves around? Processes information? Needs paper? Connects the computer to the internet? You are asked to write the name of each part next to the question. Take your time to do the task. Then come back to check your answers. Hello again. I write the answers in order to check yours. Which part of a computer is large and flat? Yes, excellent. This is number two. A monitor. Which part of a computer has letters and numbers? This is number four, a keyboard. Which part of a computer is small and moves around? Number five, the mouse. Which part of a computer processes information? Yes, number three, the CPU. Which part of a computer needs paper? Number one, the printer. Which part of a computer connects the computer to the internet? Yes, number six, the router or the modem. Okay, modem or router. Thank you. Let's go to activity three. Read think and listen do this quiz with a partner then listen to the answers mouse quiz one why is a computer mouse called a mouse a it is the same size as a mouse b it can move fast c the first computer mouse had a wire which looked like a real mouse's tail D. Cats like to chase it. Number two. What was the first computer mouse made of? Plastic, wood, metal, glass. Three. What year was the first computer mouse invented? 1963, 1984, 1990, 1999. Now you are asked to do this quiz with a partner. You can search for the answers or you can guess the answers. Take your time to do the activity, then come back to check your answers. Hello again. I'll underline the correct answers, then we will listen in order to check them. Number one, why is a computer mouse called a mouse? Yes. Because the first computer mouse had a wire which looked like a real mouse's tail. Number two, what was the first computer mouse made of? It was made of wood. Yes, B. Three, what year was the first computer mouse invented? A, 1963. Now let's listen in order to check our answers. Unit 5, Listening 5.1 Welcome to the mouse quiz. Here are three questions about the computer mouse. Can you guess the answers? Question 1. Why is a computer mouse called a mouse? Well, it's not because it's the same size as a mouse or it can run fast or because cats enjoy chasing it? The answer is C. The first computer mouse had a wire which looked like a real mouse's tail. 
Question two: What was the first computer mouse made of? Plastic, wood, metal, or glass? Many people think it was metal, but that's wrong. It was made of wood. So B is the correct answer. Question three. What year was the first computer mouse invented? Nineteen sixty-three, nineteen eighty-four, nineteen ninety, or nineteen ninety-nine. The correct answer is A. It was invented in nineteen sixty-three. Thank you. Activity four. Ask and answer. Dear students, do you play computer games? Yes, some of you like playing computer games. Let's read this question about computer games. What do you think about computer games? Can you give your opinions about playing computer games? You have previously discussed computer games in grade four, if you remember. Yes. Let's read this girl's opinion. I love them. They're interesting and fun. What about you? I think they're very unhealthy. They stop kids exercising. You can give your opinions and say what you think about computer games. By this, we've achieved the aims of this lesson. Thank you for following me. Goodbye.